I remember telling my professors at university about my many friends dying from AIDS as excuses for missing exams. The fact was, I didn't have any friends, just guys I was getting sandwiched between late at night after drunk driving to their sad little apartments. Leaving at sunrise with shaking hands Feeling around in my mouth with my tongue For fissures where I might have zero converted Not enough time to sleep long enough To survive an exam Not that I could sleep anyway For me, being able to easily access these memories and the feelings that come with them, I find to be a blessing when it comes to having the necessary empathy and intention to overlook the very dubious content someone might be presenting to me and instead Focus on the dilemma into which the content places the person. When someone says, no one believes me, instead of asking or acting as if I want to ask, well, is anything you say true? I can assume that it is true At least using a functional, contextual definition of truth The truth is that which allows us to function in our context We can explore, is it productive to try to convince anyone of anything? What are the consequences if we get ourselves locked into a need to be believed by this or that person? What happens to our boundaries when walking away? is not an option If someone wants to be with me it should be me they want to be with even if I tell all kinds of extreme but ultimately harmless lies based on my existence rather than based on all kinds of conditional shit that really means nothing and that may as well be true or false or just words which are behaviors and behaviors have function yes to mislead, perhaps To try to make me mean something in this world Where I've experienced so many bone-crushing episodes That tell me I mean nothing To anyone Even if just for a moment